Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Jarad. Please do what I say. Bring your fingers together like this and now place it on your cheek. Where is your cheek? You see, sometimes listening can be a complicated affair. Cheek, cheek, where is your cheek? And therefore, the Synod tells us that the process and the very aim of this whole Synod is listening really listening to people to understand what people are saying. Now with what do we listen? With our ears, right? No, not just with our ears, but with our eyes and also with our hearts. Why do we listen? Obviously to know what a person is saying. No, we listen to understand what a person is saying. Experts tell us this, 10% of our listening is by the words spoken, 30% by the tone of voice, and 60% by body language. So we just can't be listening to the words, but we need the eyes and a very hard to understand what people are saying. There are two kinds of listening, ear listening, just to know facts. I'll give you an example right now. You go to a person and ask a person, how are you? And the person says, I'm very well. Or the person says, I'm very well. You can see the difference? The words are the same, but absolutely opposite in meaning. The second kind of listening is heart listening, which includes listening with the ears, the eyes, your very heart. You have the compassion of Jesus, understanding what a person is saying. And this is what the Synod is all about, listening to understand, being Jesus for other people. And so, in this process, what are we doing? We're making a gift of ourselves to others. And I'm using that word gift also as an acronym, G-I-F-T. G, God speaking to this person. Every person is God speaking to us. And therefore, when we listen to people, we can discern and know what is God telling us? I, I don't know. Whenever we listen to people, we go with humility. I don't have all the answers. I don't even know this person well enough. And therefore, I need to understand. F, full attention with my ears, my eyes, my heart. And therefore, I can't be reading a paper thinking what to say next. I need to be fully present to the other person. And T, time to listen to people who may be ignorant, people who are dull, people who are boring, people who are in pain. I give a gift of myself to listen to them. Now this kind of listening is a kind of listening that Jesus himself has as we see in the Bible. Remember the lady, the Samaritan woman? By Jesus listening to her and speaking to her, she was transformed. Or the disciples on the way to Emmaus, didn't our hearts burn within us as he spoke to us and then as he listened to them before that. And so my friends, this synod is giving us an opportunity to learn the whole process of real listening to understand and being the gift of Jesus to other people. And now I have a little poem for you. Please hear what I am not saying. Don't be fooled by me. Don't be fooled by the face I wear. For I wear a thousand masks, masks that I'm afraid to take off, but none of them is me. Only you can call me into aliveness with your sensitivity and sympathy and with your power of understanding of what I say and don't say. You breathe life into me. You alone can release me from my shadow, my world of panic and uncertainty, from my lonely prison. Please do not pass me by. Who am I, you ask? I am from your church, your family member, your next door neighbor. My friends, if you found this video helpful, please share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I've also put two helps here on top. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.
prayer for the synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.